This is the Marvel Legends series, MODOK, or Mobile Organism, designed only for killing. I picked this figure up at my local Toy Kingdom store for a whopping $68. That's about $68, $70. And luckily, it was on a 10% discount. And before I left the store, I asked the staff to, if I could slip in the, the thing before I left the store, just to be sure that, you know, my my history with Hasbro's quality defects. I was pretty sure I was gonna get one. So uh, thanks to my good buddy Clarence for giving me a heads up on the issues that Modoc had. On some people were getting there were reported issues of two left feet. The fists were the same. So I I asked the staff if I could just quickly open it up after I paid for it. Obviously. Uh, and just to see what was inside, if it had everything complete, if there were two left feet or whatever. So luckily for me, I uh, can't lose all the time. Uh, everything seems to be intact. And everything seems to be the correct piece. So we've got the, the brow or the hair. We've got the pod where he... I guess this is his... I guess it's like this, right? The booster for his seat. we got the booster effect. Okay, and then we have this back of his head, the extra, extra face. Good thing you know I had to check that. And then what else? Uh, bit of dirt. Yep, handlebars there. Hands, hands seem to be okay. Okay, are there any frozen joints? Nope. Articulation looks to be okay. Look at that wrist, elbow, no bicep swivel though. Shoulders, okay. How about this one? This one seems to be okay. As okay, what was that? Did I just break it? Okay, nope. Seems to be fine. Okay. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't plugged in. Well, that's that's what the, this paper was for. Okay. So okay. That's, that's what it does. Let me see the other one. Okay, so this alternate head fits nicely like that. I think I like this one better. This one's nice too. This was pretty basic standard MODOK, but this one is like the funnier one. Ah, Iron Man, no! Okay. And these are for the legs, I suppose. Here, we'll put that off to the side. Let's see. Okay, so we got feet. Huh. Looks to be the left, or oh, the right and the left leg. How about the feet? So I guess we're in the clear. So it's this one. And then we got some alternate hands, the gripping hand and the punching hand. So these are all the pieces we have. And as I mentioned, I wanted this funny looking face more, I guess, on him instead of the basic one. That's okay. And then, uh, I didn't, don't, no time to read the instructions. Let's see if Hasbro made this intuitive enough that anybody can put it together without reading the instructions. Okay, ah, and then we'll, we'll just do this. We'll connect. And once you connect this, is this non-removable? I mean, can, okay. <laughs> I guess that's that. I guess you can still remove it if you wanted to, if you can put it back in, in the box. And then the, oh, that's tough. Okay, it wasn't as tough as I thought it would be. Okay, and then, does he have a thigh swivel? Yes, he does, but it's, it gets, oh, okay. You can, you can get thigh swivel. Just a double, oh, double hinge knees. That's pretty cool. All hinge ankles with a rocker. No, just a hinge ankle, swivel, rocker, pivot. Same on the other side. Okay, no frozen joints, thankfully. Oh! <laughs> so I guess you could still remove it, even after putting everything together. That's that. And then the, the booster rocket, or the booster effect. Like that. And then the main effect. I guess we'll have to stay here. And there you go. Wow. Lovely. Just an amazing figure. Clip on the clip on the fist on that joystick. And then okay. 
And there you go. Look at Modoc, the alternate head. Yeah, I, I kind of like this one more. And then, uh, obviously, you can swap these out as well. Yeah, he's angry at the Avengers. Avengers! AI am attack! So, yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. There's really not much you could do with him. No blast effects. Is there a blast effect? Uh, no. They put all the effects on the bottom part, on the uh, booster part. Uh, no blast effects. He like shoots, you know. I mean, he did that in the comic book and the cartoon. So, okay. Uh, that's cool. There's really not much you could do with him except he could, he's like a it's like a diorama figure, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it's like you, you pose him and then you have all your Avengers, AIM soldiers just around him. And yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think Hasbro nailed it with this figure. I love this gold pearlesque type of plastic. It, it just makes it pop. It, it's like the, uh, it's akin to the Thanos plastic that they used for the deluxe Thanos figure with the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, I like it. It's pretty stable, uh, despite the base being a little bit wobbly. I guess that's what it's for. You just can't pose it. I wish you could have posed... It was a way to pose the base. I mean, better articulation for the base instead of just this ball joint. So, yeah. Uh, the figure gets a great amount of articulation, despite not needing it. Uh, the plastic looks great. The detail on that face. Look at that. I mean, can you get any better than that? That is Modoc. Just wonderfully sculpted, wonderfully painted. Uh, honestly, I don't know how else Hasbro could improve this figure. It is absolutely an amazing, amazing figure. <laughs> I, I just can't get it. No Chefatron pose, I suppose, except this is this is the best I can do. It's really not much you can do. Yeah. So yeah, great. Well done, Hasbro. And so some final thoughts on this figure. I think it's a great figure. It's gonna get a 10 out of 10 for me. So pleased to actually have this one. Modoc was one of my favorite villains, battling the Avengers, you know, and all that in the comic books. He was very funny and <laughs> he just looks so ridiculous. Actually, super brain. And yet he's, <laughs> he looks like this on a, on a jet, hover chair or whatever i really like this figure i think hasbro nailed it with this one well done hasbro let me know in the comments what you think of this figure and as always hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews if it's your first time here please subscribe thanks for watching